Hello and welcome to this 5 minute overview of AWS Well Architected. I am Mark Isaacs, Senior Startup Solution Architect at AWS. Today I will be giving you an overview of AWS Well Architected, what it is and how it can help you. So why does AWS Well Architected exist? AWS Solution Architects have years of experience working with customers architecting solutions across a wide variety of workloads and use cases. We have helped design and review thousands of customers' architectures on AWS. From this experience, we have helped customers identify best practices and core strategies to help them understand the pros and cons of decisions they make while building systems on AWS. AWS Well Architected helps cloud architects build secure, high-performing, resilient, and efficient infrastructure for their applications and workloads. It is more than a tool. Well Architected is a mechanism for your cloud journey. It allows you to learn the strategies and best practices for architecting in the cloud, measure your architecture against best practices using the Well Architected tool, and improve architectures by addressing any high-risk issues identified. As a startup, you want to minimize the risk of one-way decisions early in your design process. It helps you better gauge the state of your architecture and create improvement roadmaps to incorporate into your plans. The Well-Architected Framework provides a set of questions and design principles across five pillars. The five pillars forms the foundation for building Well-Architected solutions or workloads on AWS. Let's look at what these five pillars are. When you incorporate these pillars, it will help you produce stable and efficient systems, allowing you to focus on functional requirements. The operational excellence pillar focuses on running and monitoring systems to deliver business value and continue improving processes and procedures. Key topics include automating changes, responding to events, and defining standards to manage your daily operations. The security pillar focuses on protecting information and systems. Key topics include confidentiality and integrity of data, identifying and managing who can do what with privilege management, protecting systems and establishing controls to detect security events. The reliability pillar focuses on ensuring the workload performs its intended function correctly and consistently when it's expected to. A resilient workload quickly recovers from failures to meet business and customer demand. Key topics include distributed system design, recovery planning, and how to handle change. The performance efficiency pillar focuses on using IT and computing resources efficiently. Key topics include selecting the right resource types and sizes based on workload requirements, monitoring performance, and making informed decisions to maintain efficiency as business needs evolve. The cost optimization pillar focuses on avoiding unnecessary costs. Key topics include understanding and controlling where money is being spent, selecting the most appropriate and right number of resource types, analyzing spend over time, and scaling to meet business needs without overspending. The AWS Well-Architected lenses extend the guidance offered by AWS Well-Architected to specific industry and technology domains, such as serverless applications, foundational technical review, and SaaS lenses are offered within the Well-Architected tool. To fully evaluate your workloads, use applicable lenses together with the AWS Well-Architected framework and the five pillars. We use the Well-Architected tool in the console when executing the Well-Architected process on a selected workload. All details are stored securely in your AWS account. Workloads can be shared with your SA or partner resource for collaboration on the review or remediation steps using workload sharing. The Well Architected tool also has an API for programmatic access. The architecture health needs to be done in a consistent manner with a blame-free approach that encourages diving deep. It should be a lightweight process, hours not days, that is a conversation and not an audit. The purpose of reviewing an architecture is to identify any critical issues that might need addressing or areas that could be improved. The outcome of the process is a set of actions that should improve the experience of a customer using the workload. As always, the earlier you do this in your cloud journey, the more you improve your chances of success 
and limit technical debt. So when should you do a deep dive into your architecture health? Health checks should be applied at key milestones in your product or application lifecycle. Early on in the design phase to avoid decisions that are difficult to change and then before the go live date. As a startup, you need a performant, secure, reliable product before you go live. You don't want to damage your brand before you even get a chance to build it. Therefore, the recommended approach is to do it early in your product lifecycle and continuously as key aspects of your architecture change. You want it to become part of your DNA to build well-architected solutions. Thank you for listening to this episode and keep watching this series as we dive deep into each of the well-architected pillars 